Ready, ready, go. So yeah, if Freddy pulls off another well-executed proxy, this could be the end. And speaking of uh, Freddy, he's in the top left. And I've done this introduction style once again that I'm really not comfortable with. He's pink, he's Protoss, and he's there. It's, it's, it's Freddy. And in the bottom right, representing... Oh, I forgot to say who, who, who Freddy was representing. He's representing Platinum Heroes. Henpei is in the bottom right. He's representing the Art of Warfare. Um, he is the Yellow Terran, and it's Henpei. I did it again. Oh. Okay. I'm not, I'm not doing that introduction style ever again. If I do, tell me to shut up. Ugh. Anyway, we're going to have a probe scout coming across for Reddy. Not going to be any proxy gate shenanigans. No max packs. Very sad. That was a bit of lag, wasn't it? Um, Henpei is going to go for your bog standard Reaper expand. With a bit of a later SCV scout than I'm used to, but I don't judge. Probe going to do some stuff. Just kind of be... Annoying, I guess, but not even trying to be annoying. SCV will come up and see uh, the Cyber Core, or not the Cyber Core, no, actually the, the Nexus. And then the Cyber Core. And as he can block. What I like to do sometimes, if the Protoss does the other wall strategy of just walling off with their, um, with their gateway, the pylon, and the Cyber, well, they don't just wall off with the gateway and the pylon because they mess up the wall somehow, is I like to put the, um... I like to put the SCV on patrol where they want to put the cyber so they can't wall off with it. It's actually pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, Alpha Team League do play in... Yeah, Tor do play in Alpha Team League, which is, uh... convenient for them, I guess. They qualified from Group B in the um, amateur division, I believe. Anyway, Reaper going to come up, and there's actually no Stalker. Um, bit of a delay on the uh, Cyber Core, I guess, so there's actually going to be a couple of probes uh, under threat. Ooh, okay, he does he does uh, slip out of that little, little surround, but he's going to get a full scout, including this Twilight Council. Might lose the... Nope, doesn't even lose the Reaper. Very nicely done by Hanpei. That's actually going to be a siege tank. Well, it might be a cyclone, to be fair. Um, he might frequent uh, terrancraft.com, and the current build order of the month is... Uh, I think it's three cyclones, might be two, to deal with a uh, Stargate opener. But obviously this isn't a Stargate opener, so could potentially... Yeah. Actually, now that I say that, something that is quite good against... Uh, thing... Twilight openers, and yes, there is a stalker. There is a stalker stuck there. Um, is to go for. Did I say star opener? I meant twilight. Uh, is to go for two siege tanks, two Mar two Vikings, and like sixty marines, and try and push with that, because they can't produce anything out of their twilight, obviously. So if you attack them with that, obviously landed Vikings, you can pretty much kill them straight away if you uh, get lucky. I think um, Cloud is talking about League of Legends. I don't know how the how the um, ELO for League of Legends works there. Oh, that poor stalker! Just recall him, please. It won't cost too much. He's so lonely. Uh, oh well, there should be a war prism out soon.
Oh, it's going to be a Siege Tank Banshee push. Yeah, you see those all the time. They are, well, I guess you used to see them all the time. They're not quite as common now, but they're no less deadly. I, uh, I'm quite a fan, actually. I think Innovation used to do them all the time. Still no third base and no additional gateways. Yes, it's not too unordinary. But like there's a lot of a lot of units for Penpei and not very many for Ready. Oh, Penpei, I think gets the kill. Oh, did it actually? <laughs> Man, here we are playing like 2D checkers. And Breddy is playing 90 underwater backgammon with that stalker. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to help much against this. This is game over, pretty much. He's got charge, but what's that going to do against that many marines and three siege tanks? Um, I guess if Henpei, Henpei delays... Uh, well, no, he's getting the bunkers down now. If he hadn't got those bunkers down for a while, it could have been a bit... Uh, a bit bad, but with the bunkers going down, he's now the one with time on his side. Oh, but the siege tanks are on siege now. This could be a good opportunity, but there's just no way. There's not enough uh, zealots. You need so many more units than that. And yeah, that's game over. N nice try, Brady, but this is just a really crisply executed push. Henpei had, I think it was 70 supply at 5 minutes, or as close to 5 minutes as, make, as makes a difference, which is really really good like really good and it's kind of what happens when you're in an empty game so you know Brady didn't really touch Henpei all game just fair enough yeah that means it's now 5-3 and our next player will be invalid I believe 